and welcome once again to God and Trump and Jesus and Trump, where we look at everything that we, the honored Christian soldiers, must do to help reelect the most hallowed and virtuous human being on God's green earth, President Donald Trump. I am your host, Fern Gribsley. Despite dying from the COVID-19 over a month ago, this week, Herman Cain tweeted the following, quote, It looks like the virus is not as deadly as the mainstream media first made it out to be. End quote. This proves one thing. Donald Trump has raised Herman Cain from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Hallelujah. In yet another confirmation that our most exalted leader is God's chosen leader to lead us, Donald Trump recently said this. We built the greatest economy in the history of the world and now I have to do it again. You know what that is? That's right. That's God testing me. said, you know, you did it once. And I said, did I do a great job, God? I'm the only one that can do it. He said, that you shouldn't say. Now we're going to have you do it again. I said, okay, I agree. You got me. There, there, confirmation that the divine Donald Trump is speaking to our one and only Lord and Savior. And our Lord and Savior is speaking back to Donald. And he is telling jokes to Donald. And he is teasing Donald. You see, God killed 185,000 Americans and made millions unemployed just to test Donald. And that is a very good joke, God. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. God sure got Donald, and Donald got God, and there was much rejoicing. Our noble and upright commander also recently said this on Jesus' favorite news source, Fox News. And Biden, well, Biden is, I, I don't even like to mention Biden because he's not controlling anything. Who, who do you they think is pulling him. Biden's strings? Uh, is it former Obama People officials? that you've never heard of. People that are in the dark shadows. Yes, people in the dark shadows are controlling Joe Biden. People like the devil, Bill Gates, or Jim Gaffigan. They are in the shadows and they're whispering to Joe Biden from the shadows, saying from the shadows, Joe Biden, you will do what Jim Gaffigan tells you to do, Joe Biden. You will eat Satan's favorite snack, Hot Pockets, Joe Biden. For you, Joe Biden, wear the mask that is the mark of the beast. Our most pious and blessed overseer then said this. We had somebody get on a plane from a certain city this weekend. And in the plane, it was almost completely loaded with, with thugs wearing these dark uniforms, black uniforms with gear and this and that. They're, they're on a plane. Thugs on planes, just as it was written and prophesied and foretold in the Bible and the Bible's sequel, Con Air. Until next time, remember, shadowy thugs on planes led by Bill Gates are spreading the coronavirus and the devil's evil through 5G phone service. And the only G that I need is Jesus.